It was second time lucky for Japan as it successfully launched its first lunar lander on September 7, atop a Mitsubishi Heavy Industries HIA rocket, from the Tanegashima Space Center 25 miles south of Kyushu. Today's launch marks the beginning of a mission that if successful, will make Japan the fifth nation to successfully land on the moon after the United States, the Soviet Union, China, and India. Though the liftoff went off on time and without a major setback, there was an air of drama because the original launch on August 28 was scrubbed at the last minute due to excessive high-altitude winds. After lifting off under clear skies, the rocket turned east over the western Pacific Ocean. At the 1 minute and 50 second mark, the two solid rocket boosters fell away from the core first stage, which shut down and separated at about 6 minutes and 35 seconds. At the 13 minute 26 second mark, the second stage cut out with orbit insertion at 14 minutes. After a second burn and cutoff at 47 minutes, the payload separated at an orbital altitude of 340 miles and climbed 31 degrees to the equator. The smart lander for investigating Moon, SLIM, mission is relatively simple by modern standards. It consists of a lander about the size of a washing machine and weighing only 265 pounds without propellants. This is because the robotic spacecraft is designed as a technology demonstrator. Specifically, its goal is to show that it's possible to use machine vision technology to navigate using previously mapped craters to make a precision landing within 330 feet of its target. The slim lander also carries two small rovers of rather unusual construction. One is the Lunar Excursion Vehicle 1, which doesn't roll or walk, but hops about the lunar surface as it gathers data on temperature and radiation. The second is the Lunar Excursion Vehicle 2, which was built with the help of the Tomy Toy Company. It weighs only 9 ounces and is intended to study how such mini rovers can aid in lunar exploration. Along with SLIM, the launch also included the X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy Mission, SRISM X-ray Space Telescope. Its job is to fill the gap caused by the unexpected destruction of the Hitomi mission in 2016 due to a software error. Because the Chandra X-ray Observatory and XMM Newton mission have been running for more than 15 years and are showing their age, astronomers have been dealing with a gap in the soft X-ray band of the spectrum. It's hoped that SRISM will close this gap until the launch of the Athena mission in 2035. The two spacecraft are currently docked with one another, but will soon separate and SLIM will use its onboard engines to send it on lunar transit trajectory, 